congratulations. You, you yeah. bet. State champion. Uh, just kind of take me through the emotions, what these feelings are like for you. Oh, I mean, it's it's surreal. I mean, I never thought I would. I never thought of anything like it. I mean, freshman year uh, didn't didn't have the didn't have the year I wanted. Um, finished twelfth here and got home and wrote on the top of my goals list that I want to be a state champion. After seeing Aiden Gutierrez win state my freshman year, I just I uh, he inspired me a lot and he's been a big mentor to me. And it's just uh, it's it's an awesome feeling. Yeah. Standing here a year ago, you know, you said to me. I, I want to be a state champion. I can win a state championship. To be here a year later to, to fulfill that, you know, can you put into words just how, how special that is to, to make this happen here in your junior year? I mean, it's, it's, it's very special to me. I mean, not just for myself, but for my community, for my school. I mean, I, I've taken a lot of pride in my school this, this year, and uh, I, I, I want to represent them well, and I think I did pretty good. You're the first Elkhart County champion since 1939. <laughs> did you, uh, first off, did you know that? Secondly, you know, just uh, when you hear things like that, you know, how, you know, what does that mean for you too? No, no, I did not know that. So I learned something new. Um, but, I mean, you get, you get shivers down your spine. I mean, you just get chills. I mean, it's just, for me to do it, it's just, it's, it's awesome. I can't, I, I, I can't thank, every, I can't thank everyone enough for coming out and supporting me all year and, and here at State. Yeah, you, you shoot four under on day one. You come out and shoot one under here on day two today. Just kind of what was the mindset? How did you attack the course here over these two days? Um, I mean, I want I didn't want to be too conservative, but I didn't want to be too aggressive. Kind of just want to stay in between. And uh, there was times where I got a little rocky out there, but I, I my coach just kind of settled me down a little bit, pat, patted me on the back, he gave me some food, gave me some water, and I, I, I just set sail from there. I know 15 and 16 there today were a couple tough holes for you. You bogeyed both of those. How'd you rally to, to par 17, 18 and, and kind of right your ship a little bit coming into the clubhouse? Uh, yeah, I mean, 15, 16, I, I got a couple bad breaks. I mean, it's just, that's just golf. It's going to happen. And uh, I try not to get too, like, too, I didn't try not to get into, like, a panic mode too much, but uh, I knew if I could just par 17. And if I get the uh, tee shot on 18, if I can just get in the fairway, I knew I could, I knew I was good. For you now, you get it ready for next year to, to try and defend your title and come back here. How do the goals change going into next year now that you've accomplished that one that you said, you know, your freshman year, you wrote down on that goal board you wanted to be a state champion. How do things change, and, and how excited are you to, to come out and try to defend the title next year? Well, I mean, first thing when I get home, I'm going to change it to back-to-back. -back. I mean, that's that's going to be a goal of mine. I'm going to try to win it again next year. Um, but, I mean, I just I can't, I can't thank everyone enough, and it's just it's so surreal. Yeah, last one. To, yeah, you see the the support here today from teammates, coaches, family, everything like that. What did it mean to, to have everybody here over these couple of days? It meant the world to me. I mean, it's just I, I can't thank everybody enough. It's just I have the greatest support group ever, and uh, it's just I don't, I don't even have words for it. I mean, it's just it's awesome.